Now we're going to change the pre-filter. First, I'm going to close this valve. I'm going to leave this valve open to allow for the pressure that's already still in the system to release that water. Then, take off the connection to your tap. And at this point, I'm going to take my pre-filter key, put it on the filter, and loosen it. And then you can take it off easily with your hand. Now, we take out the filter that you want to change, take the water, throw it out. Once you have your new filter, you're just going to put it inside the canister and screw it back onto the system. Get it nice and snug and tighten. It is recommended that when you have a dirty filter, to have it changed on a regular basis. The only difference between the RO30G and the RO30C is the pre-filter. If you have chlorine in your water, you're going to want to choose the RO30C. The difference being the, the carbon filter. To change this carbon filter, you're going to use the exact same procedure you're going to turn this valve off, leave this valve open to allow for the water pressure to escape the system, and you're going to disconnect your hose. Take your key, put it on the filter, and twist. Grab your filter out of the container. Now you take your new filter, put it in the bucket. And screw it back onto your system. Use the key once again to get it nice and tight and then you're ready. Now, depending on how much chlorine you have in the water, that determines how often you have to change your filter, but check your uh, user manual and everything is stated inside there depending on your chlorine level. If you happen to have bought the RO30C, but you're going to a place that doesn't have any chlorine in the water, then you can also buy this filter, this is just your normal filter, and put that in uh, replacement of your carbon filter. Now we're going to change the resin filter. Usually if you look at your TDS meter and the in and out PPM is the exact same, that's usually a good sign that your resin is uh, done. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to unscrew this piece, if it's a little too tight, you can use a wrench in the back. And then careful, there's a plastic piece back behind it. You're going to grab your key, slip it on. And loosen the filter. Be careful because this is usually going to be filled with water. So now you're going to empty out the water from the canister. And take out your filter. Now there's two options. You can either buy a new filter from Unger and switch out completely, or if you unscrew this cap,
take off the barrier. You can empty out the resin. So Unger gives a 25 liter replacement bag of resin and you can take that resin and pour it back inside the canister. Put the top back on and tighten it down. Now we're going to put this back in to the container. Make sure that your seal is facing the top. Screw the container back in to the system. Take your key, slip it back on, and tighten it. Don't forget your plastic piece goes in behind the container to support. Bring the strap in front and you're going to screw the screw back on to make sure that the strap is good and tight. Now you're ready to go.